Hello, everybody. I started my makeup application and then my phone storage got full. So I'm going to have to go live with my makeup applications until I figure out my phone storage. But I had already moisturized my face, cleansed my face prior to coming onto the video and then started the video in showing you um, Magic the primer that went on my face and the li new liquid foundation that Avon just came out with and um, I had already put that on uh, with my blending bud for today. So now I am going to try Avon's new concealer. Oh, maybe I should show you first. So I bought this in a one shade lighter than my normal foundation. My normal is a medium beige and I'm got this one shade lighter. So this is my first time ever using it. So we'll see. They, they say draw a line down like you want a V. Not just like swiped across, but you want a V down to blend in. And a little bit up here. Down your nose. Here. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like because first time using it. So we're about to find out. So I'm taking my blending bud and it's still damp from before. And I'm just going to blend all that in. You just got to keep using that tapping motion to really push that product basically onto your skin but we do have the primer underneath um, that's what I like using about the primer that helps protect your face and then I have it up here let me know what you think as I'm doing this, or if you have questions, comments. Okay. I think I'm done. Let me look over here. Oh, my nose. Gotta get my nose. There. So that was Avon's new liquid foundation and the primer. And my phone keeps saying settings are full. So that's the two new products that Avon just came out with that I just used. So, you always want to make sure you get up by your hairline, down below. You want everything to look as natural as possible. Um, now that I've been doing, messing around with makeup a lot more, when I'm out and about and I see those girls that have the foundation line, you can clearly tell foundation versus neck. I just want to help them out so bad. I just want to hand them an Avon brochure and say, call me. <laughs> so there that's the foundation and the, the concealer uh, next I will move on to blush and this is the luminous blush color is antique rose is what I'm going to use today and this is the And I'm going to use Avon's blush brush. As you can see, it ha goes in a diagonal right there. So it really helps you get that angle on your face. 
and I'm just lightly tapping it. I don't want a lot of product on there because it does go on really well and I don't want to be too dark. Going back here by the hairline first, working my way forward. Now that I got my line, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to blend up and down to blend it in. Now for the other side, same thing, making my line. Blending it in. The more blended, the more natural it looks. Making sure they're both even. I didn't come too far on one side versus the other. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there if you want to smooth things out. Hi, Tia. How are you? Is everybody getting outside today now that we finally got some sunshine today? That's what I'm going to do as soon as my makeup's done. Of course, i got to go to Walmart and get groceries. Okay, moving on to eyes. Today I am going to put on the Mocha Latte Eyeshadow Quad, which I've used this a lot, as you will see when I open this up. I love these browns. We have some mattes. This is a shimmer right here and another matte. So... We are going to start with, as soon as I find some paper here. Okay, taking my eyeshadow brush, but I'm blotting it first to make sure that there's no product on there from yesterday. That I'm starting out with a clean brush. Okay. I'm going to start with this lightest shade, number one. And I'm going to put it up next to my brows. So. And I tend to put on um, dark at first and then blend everything in. There's many ways to put it on. Um, I've seen it different ways, but everybody usually starts with the light towards the brow. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> You're going to try to learn some stuff? I'm sure you already know. So light up here. I'm not really caring as far as how far down it's falling because I will put other shades on top of it. Okay. Then I'm going to go with the number three, the shimmer. And I'm going to put that on my lid. And I'm going to blot it on. And so wiping, when you blot, you, you get a little bit more product and it shows up a little bit more.
Okay. All right, now we are going to use the transition shade. And so we're going to transition the this to this. So in here, in the crease, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to just lightly put color on there at first because I've worked with this product before. And this number two right here sometimes can go on dark, way darker than what I want. So we'll see how it does today. going all the way across as you can see checking it in my mirror over there This one looks a little bit darker than this one, so I'm going to fill in over here. Okay, take an Avon um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to start blending. I'm going up and down motions to blend the top to the bottom to get that transition shade right here blended in with these shades so it don't look so like a straight collar was just slapped on there that they're blended in together. I don't like my eyeshadow to go too far down. I like it to like stay in a V from the corner of my eye up to my brow. So I always just use my fingers a lot to make sure that color is not transitioning down into that area that I don't want it to be. So, one more color, and that is this last color, number four, here, and we're going to put it in the crease to give kind of like a, um, a bold look right there. I'm daubing this one out so I can reuse it instead of having four or five brushes down here. So this one is just going to go in a V here. Hopefully you can see that. Notice I didn't go all the way across. My other shades are going to be here. This is just going to be right here. And we will blend that here in just a second. I'm going to do this one. Just a V right there. Okay, now for the blending, so it don't look so crazy. Up and down again. 
just soft quick motions is what I use I guess Let me know what you think so far. Like I like a, a little bit color, but um, today I don't want to be so drastic. Okay, it's all come in. I know, creepy, right? When they come in to videos like that. Okay, and now I'm going to throw a little bit of eyeliner on because I can't go anywhere without eyeliner. I can go without eyeshadow. I got to have my eyeliner. I'm using the Precision Super Extend Precision Liquid Pen. And I always use black. I, I am going to try some blue sometime, but I, I'm going to use black. I love this. See the tip of that? It can get a very fine line. Or you can go to the end of the tip and press in to there and get a wider eyeliner. If you're doing a wing liner, this one's great because you can use that tip to wing out. So I'm going to start here and go right across. And my eye wants to twitch sometimes I'm going to have to look over here to get it just right sorry here let me turn my camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm really getting into those eyelashes because I don't want people to see skin or eyeshadow color between my eyelashes and my liner. I think eyeliner really sets off your eyeshadow no matter what color you have on for the day. Okay, there's the top. See how the difference between no eyeliner versus eyeliner. Now I'm going to do the bottom. I'm just lightly going to go underneath my lashes right there. And sometimes I've even pulled my skin out like this because I do have a little bit of a hooded eye the older I've gotten. So sometimes I've even pulled this out like this gently and gone like this. And so we're going to do this one.
So I've got that coming down to there. No, T, I think it's great to use whatever color you feel good in. It's about what you feel good in and what not other people think, first of all. Um, number two, I do have some um, a really bright blue eyeliner that I'm getting ready to try. If I understand what you're saying here, let me reread it. Colored eyeliner. Every time I wear anything but my navy blue, people ask if I feel bad. I don't understand why they would do that because I've seen I've seen people wear a really um, green right there, a really bright green, and it looks beautiful on people. Um, I think it the brighter the eyeliner, it just draws attention to your eyeshadow and everything. Um, so. I love different colors. I, I, I'm a black girl only because that's what we've done since high school on up, right? So, yeah, I do have some bright colors in there that I'm getting ready to try. A really bright cobalt blue, which I'll make a point to try to use that in my next video. And we'll see what it looks like. But it's all about what you think. Of course, I know when people say things like that, how it makes you feel because... I hate it when people make comments like that. I feel crappy the rest of the day. So I'm tying this top in with my bottom by going out here and drawing it in. A little bit of a wing, I guess, but I'm not going so crazy as to out here, out here with the wing. You're beautiful, Tia. You know you are. You've always had those beautiful blue eyes. Heck with those people. They, they probably don't know what they're talking about. That's the hardest thing in life I have learned is to not care what other people think. I'm I, I still I'm still not learned how to not care. Matter of fact, I get told that I care too much a lot. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for the eyeliner today because I don't want to go too drastic. Don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm hoping to get a better camera eventually someday. But right now I've just got to use what I have. So, final touch. A little bit of lipstick. And I'm going to use a sample. I don't have the full tube. Because I like trying the little samples first before I buy the full tube. This one is... Hold on. They make these little letters so small. Ideal Lilac. You know these little samples that we give out? I love using these little things. So... Come here. I'm not using a liner, a lip liner. I'm just going straight for the lipstick, I guess. So there. A little bit of pink on my lips. So I'll sit back and let you see the full look. And there's my 
makeup for today. That's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? So I hope everybody gets outside and enjoys the sun while it's here. Uh, I know I'm going to, even if I just go work in the flower beds for a little bit. But first I'm going to Walmart. So I hope everybody has a blessed day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon.